Nope. And actually, I told you, like, um, in Sonic Story, um, he lands after jumping off Whoa, after Oh, camera! He, Tails, like, falls in the... Or, Sonic falls in the Mystic Ruins, and then he goes through the n Lost World. And then, um... And then he follows Eggman into his base and beats him up. But that doesn't really accomplish anything, does it? Sonic? Yeah. Uh, I guess not. But here, Eggman's trying to blow up the city, and you're gonna go stop him. Yeah. Follow the dash rings. <laughs> Just dash objects, know where you're supposed to go. Oh, also, um... When you're racing Sonic, he rubber bands a lot both ways. Like if he's way if he's ahead of you, it'll slow down. Yeah. But if you're way ahead of him, it'll like rubber yeah. band at you super hard. Eggman doesn't do that. He is at a set speed. Really? Yeah. Huh. The, which you can really beat the crap out of him if you're good at this level. But if you're not that good, he'll he may very well beat you. So you're ahead of him right now. So that's good. Woo! Nope. How? You are racing. You are racing. <laughs> Go, man. Ah. You can do it. Woo! This section's pretty cool. Because you're like you're just flying through a bunch of Crap. air and space. Good thing for that one. Yep. Hey, there's the missile. It is right spanking there. It See crashed it crashed into a skyscraper. I guess. That's kind of neat. Woo! Now I'm gonna kick it until it Tails. defuses itself. Tails, what are you doing? Tails, he's disable the rocket. <laughs> He's gonna use the 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 dash attack thing. Tail attack. Yeah. Okay. For so whatever reason, we're back in Station Square next to Casino Office. Oh. So I we beat him to the missile and stopped him somehow. I guess I don't know. Get ready for the most menacing Eggman line ever. And I do not mean that sarcastically. That's a robot. Yes, it is. Yep. <laughs> it's probably exaggerated because it's like from Tails' perspective, but still, it's like, yeah. <laughs> I like his reaction. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Like, I'm not. With a shaky voice. Yeah. Like, I'm not sarcastic about that. That's, yeah. That was a neat little. I'm a fly at you. Oh, they glow. They must be his weak point. I'm glad I didn't have to explain that to you. <laughs> so basically, that's how you beat the boss. I know how to play video games. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Can you not really? Not really what? Believe this. Oh. I thought, no, you can't really hit it when it's not being super glowy. Because <laughs> you were trying to jump into it when it wasn't glowing. So, yeah. You basically stand under it. Looks like I have a tie on. Or it looked like it for a because second. Because the rhythm badge? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like... It's one of the power-ups that's, like, all up in. Yeah. Like, some of them are, like, subtle. Or, like, Sonic's little crystal ring that speeds up the light speed attack. Like it, it's just a little, per yeah, it's just a little, a little blue band blue band on his wrist. Stand underneath him, you fool! You have to hit both of them. Ah, dang it! I didn't want to explain this boss to you. <laughs> Whatever, I would have gotten it. Yeah, but it would have taken longer. Well. Yeah. Oh. You already got that one. Did you see all those electric sparks? Means you got it. Sorry, I'm just concentrating so hard here. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> so yeah, Tails is last boss. He's actually like saving the city instead of just beating up Eggman for no reason. <laughs> Which you know, that's a cool little plot thing. Yeah. Like Tails saved the day and Sonic didn't really. That's gonna get thrown out the window in the last story, but <laughs> up until that happens, like it's a cool little plot development. What do you mean the last story? Supersonic. Oh. You know that boss in Sonic Generations? Well, that happens. <laughs> hmm? Wait, what? Perfect Chaos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that scene in the opening somatic. <laughs> it happens. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. We're, we're as many bottles as... <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Yay, I saved everyone, but I'm embarrassed by. <laughs> so, this is actually kind of referenced in Sonic Adventure 2 at one point. Yeah. Um, I'll just go ahead and explain it now. Like, there. It's almost a plot hole more than it is a reference, because it doesn't really make sense in the end. But, um. Fist bump! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Zowie, wow. Anyway, um in in Sonic Adventure 2, they're looking for Chaos Emeralds, and Rouge like brings up an article that's like Tails was awarded a Chaos Emerald for saving Station Square. And it's like, okay, but in this game, um, in the last story, all the Chaos Emeralds like Chaos has six of them, and the seventh one is in Tails' plane. So Chaos goes and gets that one, spoilers. But then Chaos has all the seven Chaos Emeralds, and he destroys Station Square. So after um, he gets defeated in a destroyed Station Square, they just like grab one of those Chaos Emeralds and are like, here you go, Tails, for saving us before. It's like, what? Because they didn't do it before that, because that particular Emerald, the Yellow Emerald, was in Tails' plane. He already had it. I it's think it was the game. Yellow Emerald. I feel like that final cutscene would have been much cooler on a, like a current gen console. Like they were, Tails was flying and Sonic was running, and they were side by side, and it was a cool like, but it wasn't angle. But they it wasn't very good graphics though. No, it wasn't good graphics, and they weren't going very fast. But I can imagine if it was on the 360 and it had like generations. And they were just like running graphics, around. They were just like, Woo! and they're just yeah. like, everything speeding by, and it's like. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it they would be. they try to do something like it in Sonic Unleashed, except they don't change the camera angle at all. It's just Sonic like runs along a field, and Tails is in the tornado flying behind him. And it's it's kind of like, eh. But I mean, like that that happens all through the credits, so it's understandable they didn't want to make it super crazy. Yeah, but yeah. still, I I understand what you mean about that. Yeah, yeah. that scene would look cooler. I've never been fond of that scene, and it's just because, like, the graphics don't do it justice, I no. guess. It's, I mean, it, I don't know, it's almost a little cheesy, the way that they executed it. So, what do you think of Tails' gameplay and his story arc? Oh, it's, it's good. Gameplay is good. Story arc is good. It's like, an old game. Yep. The story doesn't grab me, but as far as this game goes, yeah. That's good, yeah. And I'll say it again, this was before video before cutscenes were that big of a deal in video games. So, you know. Oops. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying. Huh. <sighs> so Yep. There's Sand Hill. You sure boarded down that. I sure did. That snowboarding section actually made me want to go snowboarding. Yeah. Like, no way in heck have I ever done that, any anything that epic, and I never will. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, oh. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Yeah. So, uh, I like this song. I don't know about you. Eh. I don't like m many of the vocal tracks that are like... That, that are obviously crafted for a specific character, I guess. But it's not. Like, it is crafted for Tails, but, like, you could hear this song, 
And you wouldn't be like, oh, but this is about Tales from Sonic. I no. know, I know. Knuckles' theme song, you would be like that, because he freaking talks about Sonic and himself. He's like, I'm Knuckles and junk. I'm Knuckles. Then, so, it's like, Knuckles is as cheesy, but it's almost like so bad it's good. But this song, I like it, and it is crafted for a character, but it's not like... I don't mean to harp on your exact uh, words, but I, it's not obvious. I don't know. It's no, because I can't hear the lyrics, really. Fair enough. But I don't know. It's probably just the I don't like the music really all that much. I guess yeah. then. Hmm. A lot of songs. Um. A lot of songs that I like, at least for me, personality stuff. I don't. Know. Um, a lot of songs I don't like at first, but they just grow on me over time. Yeah, I know. And they can is. become like my favorites. Bastion. Mm. Bastion soundtrack. Finn. Yeah. There's Finns on that plane. Ooh. What? That was Puntacular. Next time. I don't know. We'll do Knuckles or Amy, I guess. One of those two. We'll see you later.